Hello and welcome to Dare and take a look at Goblins of Elderstone. A second look, actually, at Goblins of Elderstone, because we played this one a few months ago, back in its uh, its very early days. We're still in the early days, but the game has just hit Steam Early Access, and uh, quite a bit of development has happened since the last time we played it, so I figured we'd go ahead and check it out again and see how, uh, how it has developed. The game is a base, a base builder, colony builder, Kind of game, but we're gonna be a clan of goblins building up our uh, our huts and our our um, our war shacks and whatever else you have in a goblin camp, chopping trees and building things and fighting off skeletons and and all of that. Let's go ahead and jump in to the game. The game has this whole mythology system, which we can see here. And uh, last time we could only pick a pantheon, select our specific gods, which didn't really do anything. It does a little bit now. And, uh, but there's story mode now. Story mode is new. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and check it out and see what it's all about. Ruby Eye, first goblin, look out over Elderstone from mountaintop. Her eyes fill with wonder as her heart fill with battle. What be the goblin way? She asked the wind, the rock, the running water. How will goblin live and breathe through the unseen tomorrows of Elderstone? Ruby Eye hear Elderstone's answer. In echo and rustling of leaves, she strained to make it out. What do Ruby Eye hear? What kind of goblins are we? Are we good goblins? No. Are we neutral goblins, or are we evil goblins? Well, obviously, obviously. We are goblins. For longest time, Elderstone shun us, drive us away. We return now, and we make Elderstone sorry for such cruelty. We teach Elderstone a lesson it will never forget. Yeah, that's my kind of goblin. Here we I look at Moongast and ask, What path I take? Moongast say, Listen to gods and choose one as your guide. That god will lead you down the most sacred path, always forwards. Never back. So Ruby Eye, think loud inside her own head. Gods hear me. Which path lead me? Lead all goblin to where we want to be. Her head filled with voices and Ruby Eye listened to the gods within her skull. Are we war goblins? Are we trade goblins? Or are we faith goblins? One path made of flint and stained with blood. Yes, we're coming back. Sore foot, Ruby Eye, look with wonder at a lake that float in air like cloud. From lake, tumble waterfalls down to ground. Moongast, bathe in waterfalls as mist wet Ruby Eye's face. Dampen her cheeks. Ruby Eye, feel lie down sad and jumping happy all at once. Are you Lake of Tears, she asked. The lake answer in voice of thundering waterfall and trickling stream. I am. The tears of sorrow, the tears of joy, the tears of wonder. Drink in my tears and you shall wash away your clay. You shall bear mysteries beyond uh, beneath. Then the faces of gods glow out of three waterfalls fell before Ruby Eye. Are we divine nature or arcane? Um, I'm going to pick... I have a feeling if I pick Arcane, we're going to be... There's there's only like four different gods in this. I, I don't want to pick the same <laughs> the same, and just have one god, so let's mix it up a bit. Uh, let's go with Nature. The fall of deep, deep green. Right? We're goblins. We're green. Yeah. Most gone. Silence everywhere as Ruby Eye walk through ash of blackened hills and stop at shattered gate of broken citadel. The air, air smelled like death. Skeletons lie scattered on ground, blackened as hills, broken as citadels. Goblin skeletons. Who do this? Gobble I wail. Gob uh, Ruby I wail to the gods. Who take my children from me? Skulls begin to clack. Jaws move. Ruby I listen close to skulls as gods whisper at her through bake, bake bone. Uh, who killed us? Who's our enemy? Who's the worst? Well, elves are the worst. But they couldn't kill a bunch of goblins like us, so uh, we're going to go with dwarves. Dwarves are be, be our enemy. Let's take a look at our pantheon. So we have... Moongast is the evil, evil god, and his enemy is humans. He gives us the ability to do plus two damage for our shamans, Death Coil. Also, in the future, we may get necromancers and create undead because we picked this god. Just basically go through the story, and it gives us the gods that fit what we picked. And we have uh, Iridin, who is the tree man. He is enemy is monsters. He gives us abundance. Peons can gather two extra tricks. Sticks from trees, and trees give two extra logs when harvested. Healing wish and farming will come in soon here. Influence war. Okay. Works for me. Now here's our map. We can choose where we want to begin our village. We've got foresty spots. we got plain spots. we got mountain spots. And we can see all the different things here about them. Uh, let's pick... Uh, here's a nice moderate all the way down. So a nice mountainous spot. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, name of our village. Uh, no, no, no. Nookstone. Yeah. The last time I, I played my test game on this, uh, and the, the village name that it gave me was Mudblood, which uh, I wish I had done this time. It's <laughs> perfect. Uh, so we have all of our different goblins here. We're going to be choosing from the pool for our first eight. These eight will be our beginners. So we're going to pick all, uh, sort of Jono, Pun Pun, 
uh, Drizzly. We'll get uh, Sinpai. <laughs> uh, we'll get Gur. Yes. And uh, Lev. Is that Lev or is that Jev or is that Ev? I can't tell. Uh, we got Kalvik. I'm trying to get a nice assortment of, of females and males here. And Epop. You can see they have an age and they have a respect level and all that. Who cares about that? Let's change our banner up. We can select different creatures and fish and all that. Or we can just do our auto-create. Um, how about... Oh, yeah, that one's good. How about black and uh, and red? There we go. The uh, We're the emu clan. Yeah, confirm. Uh, the emu clan? Yeah. Emu. Okay. Tut yeah, tutorial's fine. We can do that. Help us walk through this. So it'll plop us down on, on a, a land... And we're going to select where we begin. We got trees, we got berries, we got all kinds of resources out here. But we have to pick where we're going to begin first. There is going to be some things we got to watch out for, though. We don't want to start up next to some graveyards. There are um, tombstones around, like right here, that will spawn bad things. We don't want to be next to those because they will come and chew on us. And I'd rather not get chewed on this game. Um, here's a nice little cubby. You see any uh, graveyards back here? I don't. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. I wanted that spot, but there's evil things. How about over here? Oh, this might be promising. I like this. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, no, there's another one right there. Hmm. Hmm, do I tempt it? Build next to this stuff? There's another one right over there. Let's go... Um, there's things around everywhere. There's no safe spots on this, th this map. Um, let's go... Uh, There's those. You know what? We're going to build back here. We're far enough away. We'll put it back over this way. In the corner. we got trees around. Do there's any berries around here? We need berries. I don't see any. How about it this way? Lots of stuff over here and a tombstone. Uh, there's some berries. Tombstones are over Okay, yeah, we'll do this one. There's, this one gives us basically the same thing. Trees. We have some bones in here. We've got... Uh, I don't see any frog spots. Which we do need uh, in the future, but um, I think we're going to have to avoid the frogs this time. Maybe. But uh, yeah, we'll start off over here. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Alright, there's our camp. So we've got a uh, campfire. We have a, a, a wagon here. It has all of our supplies. We also have King, King Jono with a fine hat right there. They want me to build a grand hall for Jono. So Jono, here you go, buddy. I'm going to give you your very own grand hall that you can live in. It's gonna go right, like uh, right like that. Now this is gonna require 24 wood, which we will grab from our stockpile here. We got 72 of it in the storage hut, and the goblins will do it on their on their own. They're gonna go and grab some wood and haul it in there and get the thing built, and uh, we will get a uh, a nice beginning hut here for our goblins. And we'll build just sort of in this, this cubby here. They may come and, and attack us, but if we put uh, some sort of defenses around them, maybe it'll fight them off. Uh, things will spawn. Skeletons will spawn here in the graveyard over, over time uh, in the winter. So uh, we need to avoid those, I mean, ideally. But uh, you can see it's slowly getting built up. Um, Drizzly. Drizzly Emu and, and Epop are hard at work. Working on this thing. Uh, there's some stats for our folks. We don't have different traits. Traits are coming in the future. We will have different, uh, I guess, likes and dislikes and whatever else. Um, there is still the... I'll shut off as soon as this is built. There is this sort of caste system with your goblins here. Like your, your trade goblins and your war goblins and your um, your worker goblins will all be in a separate a separate uh, caste. And you have to keep them all, them all happy. Every one of them each have their needs and and they can all get cranky, and, and uh, you don't want that, because then they can start whining. But uh, Epop, you're, you're going to be my new my new village chief. Lordless Warrior. A lordless warrior stride into village. He shout of great quest and lost treasure. He wants strong goblins to dig for him and carry loot. Um, make, I can just send, I can give you two goblins. Well, I'm going to give away my goblins to go help you dig stuff up. This gold likely be on Lordless Warrior's head. Tell him to go away. Or, goblins love to dig up treasure. We pick four strong goblins to help. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? The warriors speak true. He and our goblins come back with much loot on their backs to share. Oh, look at that. We got berries, sticks. To... <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, that, I'm glad it worked out because we would have been down to four goblins. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the, the Grand Hall is now done. So we've got uh, Epop in here commanding 
the minions around. Let's build up a storage hut, which is right... Uh, is it the main? I think it is. Right here. Holds up some resources. Uh, store, store, see, store some resources right over... I don't know, throw it over here. Like that. Every time you build a building, it has this nice little bridge system, so you can see they're all connected, which is it's kind of fancy. What's going on over here, buddy? What happened to you? Oh, that's Epop. I guess it's nap time. So again, things will get hauled over there and created. we got an end of spring report over here. We've got, uh, yeah, we're eating food and we're sticks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any Warrens yet. Warrens are what we house our goblins in, so we're going to just be sleeping on the ground here. I probably should put this out a little further so it'll be more in the center of our fort. Because in the w come winter time, this is going to be a very important campfire that we have to keep stocked with wood because uh, it gets cold around here. What is that? Mushrooms? And then we'll go and gather things as we build a uh, our buildings here. We'll see that we can prioritize things. Uh, we do need to get a hauler, however. We're going to get Jev. Jev, the hauler. Come on in here, buddy. And uh, you will now be in charge of hauling things around. Let's build ourselves a trade hall. Trade hall is right here. Prioritize workers. So this is where we can tell them uh, things like... Um, things like forget the... Uh, Forget the sticks and just give me berries and whatever else. Let's go with something like... Can I get this where we get... Oh, yeah, right there. Right there in the middle. Okay. So, again, 20 wood is needed, which we may or may not have. The cart is gone. It's all hauled in here now. We have 21 wood. So, yeah, so they'll come over here. They'll grab the stuff and haul it over this way. And we'll get that built. And we'll have a, uh, a new storage, uh, a new trade hall. To tell them to go do things. And then we'll get ourselves a craft hut, get us some tools, and a wood chopper hut to get some trees chopped down. And you can see all the different things we can make here. There's quite a few th different things. Watchtowers, we got war halls, barracks. We can build priests to uh, like heal ourselves. Shamans will do damage. Um, and you can see, though, this one requires sticks and wood and, and tools and, and rocks, which we don't have yet. Uh, lab, I guess, can't be built just yet. Not in the uh, game yet. Uh, what else we have? Pigsties, war dens, workshops. We have breweries to build beer, uh, trading posts, mines, blacksmiths. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And yeah, they're out running around picking up some things. Good job, buddy. Get uh, oh, they're getting berries. Okay, yeah, good. Very nice. Build a crafting hut to get some tools made. So first off, we got a trade hall. We get somebody over here to uh, allows a prioritizing prioritization of advanced jobs. I'm not gonna do it just yet, but we could put someone in here to go command this around, but we're telling them to, just, to go ahead and grab berries, sticks, and and log uh, and stones if they can. But uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and get the crafting hut thrown up here and we'll put it... Um, can I squeeze anything back here? It's probably... Everything's probably going to be a little too big. Just stick it... Uh, sure, right there. Sure. And again, we need stones and sticks and we get the thing made. And uh, that will allow us the ability. We'll put someone in here in charge of the crafting hut and I'll give someone someone uh, to make tools and then those tools we use to make the woodcutter hut which was which is a very important thing which is going to be next right here assign goblins to cut trees for logs and that is going to be good we're going to put it right back um we can stick it right over here yeah why not cram it in over there we can stop chopping some trees down uh the main defense is going to have to go maybe put something over here i don't know we'll see how how terrible this stuff comes at me I don't know if there's a way of eradicating the graveyards. There's a way of removing them. I'm not entirely sure. Spooky graveyard. Skeletons and wraiths will spawn there. Pun Pun is gone for food. They're going to hang on the fire. You can see they do have a, a health bar. They'll get cold and they'll get uh, hungry. And uh, if that happens, they have to come to the campfire and eat. But um, that is nearly done. <clears throat> which we will assign someone in charge of to get, make us some tools. That's the plan, anyway. Yeah, it's been in development. This game came out, I guess, originally in 2014. That's what the thing on the uh, website said when they first started developing this thing. Uh, we'll let Pun Pun handle the uh, the crafting. And Pun Pun, I want you to prioritize making me some basic tools because we need those for our wood, our wood shop, wood cutter, right over here. He's got uh, He's got all the resources he needs except for the tools. But that'll get made. We'll need uh, 20 logs, 20 rocks, and we'll start making some tools. Uh, 20 sticks, not logs. Trade all done. Crafting hut done. Nine new babies born. That's the most I think I've ever seen on one. That's a lot of kids. 
Uh, we got lots of food stored and consumed and uh, a little bit shy on the winter stuff, but it's fine. It's still early on. Nine new babies born. Well, all right. We can prioritize things here as well. I kind of see... Um, I don't think I can see babies here. I don't know how to see actually how many... Um, and we have eight, like, adults. I don't know how to see. I guess whenever they become... I don't even think you see the babies on the map. And once they hit adulthood, then they then they show up. Because they don't want to do anything. They just run around and, and take up your time. Uh, we'll go to near the forest, which we are doing, which was almost done. And it will be done as soon as we get those tools made and hauled over there. Have we made any of these tools yet? Yeah, we got one made. So that should get hauled around. And there's some stones getting hauled in there. And those will get taken as soon as uh, we can. Over to the woodcutter. Which will get us some logs. And then we get a, a resource done. I wish I had a frog place over here. We will need that. Um, a frog gatherer for food. I guess we have a couple different spots of, of berries. People are going to walk near this this and get attacked, though. I have to figure out how to defend that well. Um, that's going to spawn some things as well. And uh, we got some herbs over here we don't have on our side either. I'm not entirely sure what we use these for. I'm assuming for... Oh, that's and that's um, for claw attempt. Uh, Oh, it's now fall. Oh, oh, there's a gob. There's a skeleton. There's one. Spooky graveyard. Anyone over here? Nope, no one over here yet. Good. Good. We don't want any skeletons attacking us right now. Uh, Woodcutter's hut. Are you not building... Build this thing faster. Okay, there we go. We're on it. Report. Let's say the babies... Did I miss something? No, not yet. Okay. Looking good. Eight new babies born. What are we going to do with all these babies? Eight new babies born? We have 17 of them. The number of new peons that become to adulthood in the tribe. That's crazy. Okay, we need to get a woodcutter. We're going to bring in Drizzly. Never heard a more woodcutter style name in my life. Let's build a watchtower. Let's, let's build a watchtower. Watchtower is going to be right. You would think you put these things on the edge, like a normal watchtower, but no, they want to put them sort of in the center of your town so that they can be used, because uh, they have sort of a range of effect. I'm going to put it right here, and um, that would forget because they have this sort of aura around them. So if someone's encamped in here, he'll attack things that are around the tower. But if you like position them over here, and someone comes into the town, then he'll just leave and ignore it. So we want to make sure that he is. Uh, here. My last playthrough, we played uh, we played a few episodes of this in the early days, and that was a mistake. I had the watchtowers on the edge of, of town, which seems to make sense to me, but apparently not. So, so we need some logs for this, which we are working on. Logs are getting done by Drizzly over there. And uh, I guess we're going to have tons of kids showing up in a minute. We could make... Um, it hasn't told me to do it yet, but we could make ourselves a warren, which will give us some places for our kids to live, places for our people to live. Cram this thing over here in the corner. There's a front door to this. I can't really tell where it is. I think it's all on all sides, so let's just throw this over here and get this thing made. This requires some sticks, which we should have some sticks around. Yeah, we got 97 sticks. So yeah, we'll just do that while they're working on this one, and we'll get uh, that made up. I'm tempted to put another tower over here also. Because I'm worried that this is going to spawn a skeleton dude. He's going to come chew on me. I did a little test game. Old Village Mudblood um, had a uh, skeleton spawn really early on and come and attack me. I didn't. I didn't notice the the graveyard right next to my base. <laughs> it was sort of hidden in the trees, and somebody came in and started chewing on my face. And I didn't have a watchtower yet, and it was it was bad. So we won't make some mistakes this time. That'll give us some beds though, and that'll make people happy. And these, I guess, are about to be growing up. That's what's going on here. They're about to be. Um, older, uh, older goblins. We have a, we have a population of ten. We can so we can support ten with our grand hall, uh, but we're need more here because we're making so many babies. We just don't know when to stop. Fetch some new tools. Gone to get warm. You are giving me some logs. Yeah, we got lots of logs. Good job, Drizzly. Well done. It is frosty outside. It is frosty outside. It's frosty outside in real life too. It's freezing here. Blarney. 
Floor and egg, indeed. Uh, upset about overcrowding. Yeah, yeah. What? 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 What's going on? Is it? Why is it on? Why is it on? Are you attack? Are you attacking this? What is going on? Fire. What? What just happened? Um. Um. Build a well. Now. Build this now. Please. Why is everything on fire? Are they attacking it? Are they angry and attacking things because things are overcrowded? Building health. It's going way down. What? Just do that. It's gone. <laughs> what are you so angry for? Need tools. Satisfaction zero. Uh, this is not burning. We're not going to build this because everyone's freaking it out. Everyone, get a hold of yourself. What's going on? The trees are on fire now. What happened? Nine new joy. Nine new adults. So everyone got. So kids grew up and everyone threw a fit and then now the forest is burning. And now we're like, where are you guys going? You done with your rampage? It's Fozzy. Fozzy Bear is here. He's red with anger. Build this thing. <laughs> okay. That's one way to play the game. Um, I was building... You know, this doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're mad about overcrowding, you don't go and burn the other houses down. <laughs> Again, this is Goblins of Elderstone. I think this is a nice... I can't think of a better ending uh, point than, than this. There it goes. Well completed. No, just in time. Go put this thing out. <laughs> goblins of Elderstone is available on Steam in early access. We have swarms and swarms of goblins that we didn't build. I should have not listened to the tutorial. I should have built my warren faster, I guess. Uh, I will see you next time.